Welcome to the Gospel of Luke today. We're at Luke chapter 21, verses 7, 8, and 9. Let's read them. So they asked him, saying, Teacher, but when will these things be? And what sign will there be when these things are about to take place? And he said, Take heed that you not be deceived, for many will come in my name, saying, I am he. And the time has drawn near. Therefore do not go after them. But when you hear of wars and commotions, do not be terrified, for these things must come to pass first, but the end will not come immediately. Now you're probably saying, boy, that sounds familiar. You know, here we are in Luke 21, but that sure sounds a lot like Matthew 24. Well, it's a lot of the same business there that Jesus is teaching in these both, both of these passages. So right here, the question is the first one we had in Matthew 24. It's Here it is in Luke 21. So what will be the, the indicators? What will be the signs? What are going to be the signs of the last days? And the very first sign that Jesus gives, the very first item, he says, okay, this is, this is num- number one on the list. This is the, one of the most important things I have to say to you. And here is what he says. You know, do not be deceived. There's going to be a lot of people that come and they claim they're coming for God. They claim they're standing for Jesus. They are making spiritual claims all over the place. They're going to say that the time has come and so therefore do X, Y, and Z. Jesus said, hey, watch out. Hold on. Don't be deceived. That's the very first indicator, the very first warning Jesus gives them. You think you're in the end times? Well, guess what? Be careful if you think you're in the end times because the very first thing on the list is deception. Deception. There will be attempts to deceive you. By the way, I I believe, and perhaps you believe as well, certainly we are very far into the end times. There's not a lot of time left, but I'll tell you what, the first thing that Jesus warned about is the thing that we need to be wise to today. There is deception everywhere. It's not censorship that we have to worry so much about. I mean, there is censorship, but today things are there's so many things to search among. How do you know what the truth is? You need to be able to find the right stuff. And there's that's kind of another form of censorship. So the thing is to start with God's word, start with the warnings of Jesus. And the first warning he gives here when they're looking at the temple and, and he shocks them by saying, yeah, this is all going to be torn down. First warning is there will be great deception. Make sure that you are not deceived. There's a warning for you and I. A very primitive and definite warning for us. Primal warning for us today. Don't be deceived. How can you make sure you're not deceived? Read the Bible. Read the Bible. Three things. Read the Bible. Read the Bible. Read the Bible. That'll get you started on the right path. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, your word is the one enduring peace. Your word is always true. But there are so many of us that misunderstand it or misconstrue it because we are, we're holding on to something that, that keeps us from interpreting right or someone comes along and puts some crazy interpretation in there and somehow because we're not deep or shallow, we just sort of accept those things. May we not do that, Lord. Help us to be diligent in looking into your word and letting your word be sink into our heart, Lord, and transform us. This, this will be awesome to get us through. Help us with this, Lord. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. There is nothing like the Bible. In fact, I would venture to say that today, what can you trust? The list is really short. You can trust Jesus. And in in terms of what else you can trust, in terms of something concrete, you can trust the Bible. Old Testament, New Testament, you can trust the Bible. These are things we know we can trust. And after that, the list is like really short. (laughs) Trust your government, trust your governor, trust your state, trust your corporation you work for. Let's start by trusting God and he'll show us what to do. God bless you today.